I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee ready to battle and take home that elusive UFC goal. martial arts it's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training and i think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight quick with his hands quick with his feet and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not bruce lee ready to go for round one just missed on the front kick there No good. Oh, nice job getting the fight to the middle. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Checks the leg kick. Caught that kick there. I mean, these guys are letting it fly. What a pace that they're fighting at. So many fighters waste energy trying to hang on the doubles. You gotta go to one leg whenever those guys have their legs split so far apart. You're not gonna collect the legs together to finish the takedown. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Nice straight there by Lee. Right lands. Oh, a huge block there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, just misses with the kick. Nice 
Just over two minutes to go. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. He's got a good body position, yup. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Now he's going full mount. Under a minute now to go in this one. 60 seconds, let's go. 60 seconds. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy. And now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side. Submission defense wins this transition. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Oh, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Nice touch, man, over the top. Take down like that might be the difference. Great job back there. The boxing looks amazing. Let's keep up the pace, keep up the pressure. He's a piece of meat out there just waiting to be knocked down. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. You ready to fight? Ready. Boy. All right, round two. All right, so we'll see how it goes here in this round. The previous round, it was all him just taking his opponent down, really every time he entered. Yeah, every time he got in on the leg, he was able to secure a finish. And that is the idea you want as a wrestler going into a fight. If you have to change up the technique, it's fine. It's not always going to be the very first attack. When it's the first attack, you're very happy. But most times, you got to chain things together if you want to take down a great fighter. And we know how hard it is to maintain the wrestling, right? The hours required in the gym to make sure that wrestling's still at a high level. He's putting in the time. Yes, he's putting in the time. And also, you see it in his movements. When he gets to an attack, he's constantly shifting position. He's constantly moving his opponent. He's constantly trying to give him too much information to process. Right. And that comes from a lifetime of wrestling. If he just started this, it would be very difficult to trick his opponent. But now, by giving him so many different looks, he's been able to secure takedown after takedown after takedown. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Great takedown defense right now by the champ. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Sidekick, well placed. Three minutes now to go in this one. Now switching his stance. 
Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Great defensive skills. He blocked that punch. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Cody Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Two minutes now to go in round two. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has run. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to go deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have gotten right there. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Oh, beautiful job here defensively, and then he lands the counter shot, so he's really starting to get the timing of his opponent and working this fight right into his wheelhouse as the consummate counter strike. Lee's now switching his stance. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination to the head. He's got a pretty deep bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Under a minute to go in the round. Straight punch. Trying to set up that counterattack. Oh, nice. Nice! Touch to the body is blocked. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. 20 seconds to go round two. 15 seconds to go. Takedown defense holds up. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. <laughs> round three next. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, side kick. Well done. He's doing a real nice job with these leg kicks, trying to slow his opponent down and largely succeeding. Oh, good work with the jab there. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Well, would you take a look at that counter striking the real story of this fight tonight? Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. And he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. And there you go, again, half bar. Great 
great job not only reversing the position, but getting to your dominant position. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. He's got to be careful here. Nice transition. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Great shot from the top position. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Look at him. He's setting up the kick now. Look at that. He's setting it up. It's tight. It's tight. Oh, great submission defense. Oh, right into Mount. Jake, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting tired. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. The ground strikes continue to pile up. This is where he wants to be. Good, solid strike on the ground. With two minutes and change to go in round three. This is a terrible position. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you've got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now all the blood that's coming from the cut. There it is, now he's on the mount. All oh, the ground and pound is there. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. He's got it isolated. No, he's out, the fight's gonna continue. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Lee. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Oh, this is some high-level, efficient, effective ground and pound by Lee. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now. They're popping for it. They're excited. Potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Just misses with the left hook. 
Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Defensive Savant. He blocked that punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Oh, great, great level change there. Nice positional control here. He passed the half guard. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Side control now, and certainly I would think more off. And look at him attack in the arm triangle on the other side. He's gonna lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he will start to... Oh, he escapes! He got out! He... Wow, that is great submission defense. on the ground and gained a dominant position. Nicely done. He's got to start throwing down. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Beautiful ground strikes land. And there it is, another strike. Gets through on the ground. Oh, that Von Flu choke is tight. The Von Flu choke looks like it's in. He's got, he's got a great Oh, his submission defense holds up again. Get the ball here. Good work. Come on, it's work. Transition. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhook somewhere. Yeah, he loved. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of. If you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. Lees has got full mount now. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big grounded pound. Him for his activity, landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lee. Nice job last round. Deep breath and relax. Excellent pace. I want you to do the same thing this round, but even more pressure. He can barely hang with you last. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did 
and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? You ready? Go we ahead. have arrived at this fifth and final round. All right, next round is underway, and what a great job defensively in the previous round. I think my face from last night's dinner is more swollen than his opponent's. I mean, he did a fantastic job of seeing when his opponent was trying to attack and getting his guard up so that he's not taking damage to the face. Great defensive fight IQ shown by this fight. Clean with the right hook. Try to establish that jab. Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes, and it's... Oh! Oh! Oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Oh, beautiful hook by Lee. Out of range with that one. Well, this one is coming down. It's blocked. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Clean punch. Goes to the body there. Straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Once you get to take that many kicks. Oh! oh heavy shots right continue up. to rain down. Back to the feet. Two minutes now to go in this one. Good punch, Lance. We might get a stoppage here. Gotta be careful here. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you gotta either have two hands. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Also, how about that position over submission as he bails on the sub? I think that's a great job. You've got to make sure you don't end up in a worse position because you're trying to score a submission. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Oh, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. One minute to go in the fight. <laughs> nice straight punch. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Seconds. 
Nice strike. Well, make no mistake about it, he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing.